give me half. And you will rejoice that you anointed me. Because the profit you seek, the return on your investment that you seek, you will get more than it. Just give me half and try me. I didn't know God heard that. Oh, one of the things that you can unavoidably see in the proceedings of that scripture is that one item needed to penetrate, to break a seal that is sealed by the glory of God is prayer. So if you are consistent in the place of prayer, you should enter into the prophetic. You should begin to see things that are sealed. Because one of such requirements is what? Prayer. In this particular case that we are reading about, there was a specific secret that they were seeking for. When you start seeking out a specific secret, what God will do is that he will reveal other secrets to you first. If you are someone that is not determined, you will stop your search because you will feel that you had a revelation. Meanwhile, the subject of the secret that you went for has, has been left unattended. Oh my. It will take great determination for you to actually receive a response in the area of the secret that you seek God to speak about. I was in the city of Kano and I was uh, participating in my youth service and uh, I wanted to know what life was all about, what was God's will for me after youth service and all of that. So when I came for youth service, I was batch A. We were the ones that went in January. I started my prayer in February because January we're in camp. We're in camp for 21 days. Was it 21? Or 30, 30 days? For 30 days. After camp, we now went to the places of our, our deployment. Then I started my fast in February. What was the prayer point? Lord, show me. Give me direction about after NYS. When I started the prayer, God began to show me that there were curses in my family. Was that what I... You are not... You are not really. Was that the... The emphasis? So when you begin to see other revelation, thank God for it. I took some time to attack the curses. Attack it. I continued with my... Third month of fasting. Fourth month of fasting. And on Saturdays, I pray for from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. That's how many hours? Yeah. What? Eight hours. Okay. So I pray for eight hours on Saturday. The other days I go to work. So when I come back from work, I come sometimes like four. I pray from four to nine. Then on Saturday, I start from eight o'clock. So it means I was really spiritually fit. But it took me one calendar year to receive the answer to the original question that I was asking. See, God was showing me many things many things but that was not what i was asking so if you lose the ability to be determined the, the, the you will think it's a waste of time you will waste 20 years and you still come back 20 years in the forest nothing significant has happened you have not struck a chord with heaven please help me tell your neighbor it's time to waste time with god everybody that was in a hurry that ran away from god's presence regretted in old age that they wasted life you want life to count Go and seek wisdom. Let him open a seal. I finished my youth service in December. We were discharged. The answer did not come. Meanwhile, in September, God came and said, um, raise for me a crusade platform in Kano and I will begin to deliver this. Week. Was that what I was asking? He said, raise for me. All of these things and the attendant obediences will qualify you for your answer. It was my last allowance in youth service that was the seed money that was used to fund that crusade. That was the crusade we did that witches wrote us and said they were coming to, to attend. That we are just causing problem commotion. So let's meet on the field. Have witches wrote you before? When you begin to grow in God, you find out that those threats mean nothing. I know the one that gives life. Even Satan himself, he survives by the breath of God. Snuffing Satan out of the equation is not by any means any challenge with God. But God knows why he does what he does. I think Satan is useful. I think so. Because if he didn't attack you, you won't run to, you won't be this strong. 
<laughs> so he's, he's serving some purpose. <laughs> he's doing some positive things there. Helping people to find themselves in God. Satan is not that strong. I finished the crusade. God said we, we should do. We did it. Came back home. And I went back again to God on the 13th of January. You have not yet answered me. Prayed in the morning to the evening. Went to church. We're doing fasting and prayer in church. Prayed for two hours in church. I still felt there was... No, I had not filled the tank. I told my friend we needed to push prayer. We started again two hours. Then never took light. As he walked into the garage to change the face because there was light on another face and he saw it. He wanted to change the face. I was alone in the sitting room and then just walked through the wall. That was my first angelic encounter. And he read from a scroll. And I say I saw an angel with his eye, not spiritually. Because I know you, you see angels. You must have seen the way I minister. If we, if we start now, you will not go home. So, no, don't worry. Let's leave that one. When we talk about watchmen and angels, then I will need to do demonstration for you. Came through the wall with a letter, a scroll. And he began to read. Go back to Khan. I said, I finished your service. He didn't answer me. You see, that, and then I discovered the difference between angels and God. Because if I speak to Jesus and I, I, I ask him a question, he will ask, he will answer. But angels, they are just messengers. They, I, I, I didn't know that. They, they, they don't know more, that, more than they were sent to, <laughs> to deliver. He said, go back. It was written it, the words of God. And you shall return to Can. But my assignment has not yet been accomplished. You finished youth service, but not my assignment. That was when I now discovered there was a difference between youth, youth service and assignment. Your youth service expired, but my assignment did not expire. You go back to the people that you were discipling and continue your work of discipleship and teach them prayer. And when you have done this, I will return to you and I will give you a job. And you will invest in many destinies. And a great network will be formed. That's why we don't do church on Sunday. We call it a network. And it will be a platform, an open forum, where believers from all denominations will come and be educated, trained, and redeployed. It's the day of the saints, where a little one must become a thousand. A small one must become a strong nation. The days where one mighty man rose and he did exploits. Those days are past. Now is the, the body must awake in glory as a new man to contend with darkness. And in those days, principalities and powers will have to learn from the church. The technology of grace that is on display. I am not seeking to be the greatest preacher. There's no allotment for any such thing like that in our time. God is looking for men that can stir the body of Christ from slumber, from sleep, and equip them. So that each one in his own space can be God's answer to his enclave. I don't seek to be a head above you. Hallelujah. I seek to be the messenger that will be used to stir up your powers into activity. And when you find God, when you find God, you will find out that it's better to stay with Jesus than to stay with the preacher. The days of men are over. In this current time, what we do is that we serve the will of God. We are not, we are not so desperate to hold on to anything of this world. Two, I went to Lagos. Two, uh, two weeks after I got to Lagos, I had a dream that my car was stolen. And I saw a devil in the dream. He told me, don't look for the car. I woke up, I told my wife, I had a strange dream. Three days later, they stole our car. I think the instruction about the car was clear. Yeah, are you with me? 14 days later, I was taking my bath and he came into the bathroom. I said, because your heart did not lost for what is physical, I will give to you the true riches. Beyond that which your eyes can see, there is a realm stronger, more real than this realm in which you dwell. Oh my, oh my. You, you have been singing the chants of Satan. All these years, because you don't know the immortal who is invincible, who is shrouded, he dwells in light that no man can approach unto.
the Bible says, and the secret was revealed in a night vision. The seal broke and Daniel received a very well articulated dream and he also received the interpretation. Things that are hidden are not hidden from you. They are hidden what? For you. And it is by them that you pass into the realm of glory that God has ordained for your life. Oh, you might ask, why is it that nobody can has been able to live up to 70 years in your family? It is a secret. There is a spirit watching over it to perform it. Life after life. Until a priest rises and travels. Months up with wings into the heavens. And with prayer, I will show you the other tool that you need to unveil a seal. And it is unveiled. And this is what happened. Your great-grandfather sacrificed a woman alive. A judgment came from the spirit realm against all the women that are from his genealogy. And that is why this judgment has passed. It was on this person. It was on your mother. And now you are beginning to see the symptoms. Then wisdom will speak to you. But if you want to change it, this is what you will do. You cannot get this wisdom I speak about in Benue State University. You can't get it because you sit before a professor. Because you visited the library. There are sealed things. And they are existing for your advantage. If God has designed a method that is ordained to fast track my advantage, I will be foolish not to seek it out. It is the glory of God to conceal it in the Bible says, and the honor of kings to search it out. Honor kings. There was a day we prayed. How many of you know our former place? We prayed there. And I told God, I said, God, I've seen the anointing you have placed upon Nigerians. I began to mention names like Ben Sinidahosa. Began to mention great men that have risen. It's obvious you have a heart for Nigeria. Don't anoint me like them. Give me half. That's what I said. Give me half. The anointing you place on Idaosa is too much. It's too big. Can you give me half? <laughs> is there an allocation of half left? Give me half. And you will rejoice that you anointed me. Because the profit you seek, the return on your investment that you seek, you will get more than it. Just give me half and try me. I didn't know God heard that. Oh. I didn't know he heard it. Then he decided to unveil a seal. He broke a seal. That prayer shook heaven. And when the seal broke, that was when our spirit saw this place. As, as at the time we saw this place, it, it was sacrilege, unthinkable for you to, to, to believe that it was possible, given the circumstances. But a seal had broken. A wisdom was already, already in the earth. A wisdom was available among the sons of men. Something beyond intelligence. And it was furnished with so much conviction that even if you are Thomas, you will be incapable of doubting. Thanks for watching. We believe that you've been blessed by this powerful content. Please do well to like and tell us how this video has blessed you in the comment section below. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated for more powerful content like this. God bless you.